Okay, let's get started the ring dinger review. But first, I'd like to address some very important comments regarding the length of my beard. If it isn't obvious by now, I am capable of interdimensional time space travel with the help of my Rick Sanchez edition portal gun. I'm working with multiple timelines here, people. Let's try and keep up. Now, the ring dinger. Here I am walking over to the table. I use a little bit of sarcasm here saying I've never seen this table before. Obviously overcompensation for my slight bit of hesitancy and nervousness. Now laying on the table my legs are raising up and I begin singing the I'm about to get ring dingered song. Which I wrote specifically for that moment but it didn't happen. Maybe next time. Here goes the towel around my neck. Doc asked me to keep my teeth shut. Now sticking out my tongue was not an act of rebellion against the doc. This is a stretch that I do before walking into the adjustment room. It relaxes my tongue and my jaw and therefore the first breath sounds that I intonate towards the patient are coming from my most pure, most relaxed, calming, harmonious, and healing state. And then... Hey. Uh, boom. There it is. Now, getting a ring dinger is kind of like watching a ring dinger in that it happens so fast, you're left thinking, what just happened? This is from the immediate bursting of dopamine into the limbic center of the forebrain that's indicative of the violation of your expectations. Now, this is one of the fastest adjustments that I've ever received, which is what you would expect from a man who's done the same movement for 38 years. 38 years of repetitive movement, muscle memory, old man strength. It's like the definition of old man strength. <laughs> <laughs> and anyone who reaches that age and has acquired the old man strength never take offense to such a thing because by the time you reach that point, you're, you've already let go of your youthfulness and you have retained that sense of dignity and pride that comes with being older. Wisdom, strength, experience. This isn't an insult, it's a compliment. Now this wasn't just one of the fastest adjustments I have ever received, it's also one of the most powerful adjustments I have ever received. During the time that Dr. Johnson spent teaching me how to do the ring dinger, I noticed that the table was just a little bit too high for me and it was perfect for Dr. Johnson's center of gravity. If you've ever seen my manual decompression maneuver that I outline in the video Legends Medicine and the Specifidinger, you can see my elbows are about 19 inches off the ground whereas this table is probably about 30 inches off the ground but it's perfect for Dr. Johnson's size. His height and his weight match up perfectly, allowing him to ground himself in his center of gravity, generating as much chi as possible before making the adjustment. Now, when it comes to the actual physical sensations of the body in that moment that I got a rig dinger, the first thing that I noticed was a release cavitation of my left mid cervical spine. Now this is interesting because I usually don't have any issues with that part of my spine and I rarely if ever have gotten the middle of my left cervical spine adjusted. What that tells me, the scar tissue and adhesions that were broken through in that part of my spine were a result of the normal aging process. Gravity pushing down all day, every day. Asymmetrical postural loading from being one side dominant. Or even traumatic experiences that never manifested into a pain syndrome. Now I also felt releases or cavitations in the lower left cervical spine, which is part of my normal biomechanics and also in my upper cervical spine, but they did not feel like my normal releases when I get adjusted at Atlas or Occiput or even Axis. And that was actually verified to me because right after I got a ring dinger, Dr. Johnson adjusted my Atlas, my Occiput Atlas on the right, and then my Atlas Axis on the left. Oh, how is there anything left? So how could there be anything left if I felt those cavitations at the upper cervical spine? It's because the release or the breaking of scar tissue and adhesions most likely occurred at the occipital atlantoaxial membrane or the ligaments that hold the occiput, the atlas, and the axis, the upper cervical, suboccipital region all together. 
Now, it's important to note that the normal fibers of soft tissue run parallel with each other. If we look at muscles or ligaments underneath a microscope, this is what the fibers or the filaments look like. When there's an injury and we break through fibers, the body heals it as quickly as possible. And that causes the fibers to heal in, in a matrix that looks like this. And every time we do body work, whether it's massage or chiropractic, we break through scar tissues, allowing them to heal. And every time we repeat this process, it comes closer and closer to the original state of harmonious parallel fiber crossings. This allows for the most efficient transfer of biomechanical forces throughout the body and decreases the occurrence of aberrant mechanical forces, which can lead to pain syndromes. Now, with my experience of the ring dinger, I felt the releases in my lower, mid, and upper cervical spine, and of course, I felt it all the way down. And because of the massive forces subjected to the upper cervical ligamentous complex, there was a massive stimulation of proprioceptive fibers and which resulted in the chiropractic high. Yeah, it sounds now other adjustments have come close to that. Adjustments with the hands have left me in a very similar, almost exact state that I felt after the ring dinger. And I've been Y-strapped as well many times and I've given Y-strap adjustments. But the difference is in the pins. The pins make all the difference in the world. Even myself performing manual decompression maneuvers have noticed that it does increase the efficiency of decompression when you have some resistance. Which is why one day this desk right here will be replaced with a Johnson ring dinger table. Now I asked Dr. Johnson, is his new table going to have a variable height option? And it is. So I will be able to lower the table to reach my efficient center of gravity and generate as much chi as possible before making the ring dinger adjustments. And what I expect moving forward is to continue using the muscles, mechanics, and tone three-step method that I outlined in season one, episode one, and also scoping patients for their primary intersegmental temperature differential. And on the ring dinger table itself, Number one, using the manual decompression move with the pins. Also, a sustained decompression move with the Y strap and when appropriate, using the towel for the actual ring dinger. Now I prefer the towel to the Y strap. As I found out, as Dr. Johnson was training me to do this maneuver, the fingertips actually touch the occiput right here, which to me is very important, because why wouldn't you want to connect with this most sacred, sensitive, intimate part of the cervical spine? That's why I use my hands in the first place, is to make sure I have that contact. However, it does get tricky with larger, thicker necks and heavier heads, and the towel is a way that you can comfortably grasp anyone's head or neck and still generate the same amount of forces. Plus, I don't think the Y strap could hold up to the ring dinger table. Dr. Johnson himself noted that over the years, he's gone through four sets of pins. This is a quarter inch thick solid steel bar that he broke through with a chiropractic adjustment. I don't think the thin nylon straps are capable of handling those kinds of forces. In conclusion, the future of my practice is sure to hold space for the ring dinger and the Johnson technique itself. Now, I won't use it on everybody. Even Dr. Johnson himself had noted during the training that not everyone qualifies for a ring dinger, which is one of the reasons it's important to have various techniques. And pending the research studies that Dr. Johnson's team is performing now, I will recommend it to the most difficult cases of cervical and lumbar spine radiculopathy. Because the Johnson technique, the ring dinger, and the upper cervical atlas mirror image adjustment that happens at the end is a potent dose of chiropractic medicine.